Southeast of Ribbon Ridge lies the Dundee Hills AVA. First planted in the mid-1960s, the AVA was established in 2005 by second-generation viticulturist Alex Sokolblosser of Sokolblosser Winery. The petition for the creation of the AVA cited its unique iron-rich red jury volcanic basalt soil dominance and its unique position in the heart of the northern Willamette Valley vineyard plantings. The region was originally known as the Red Hills of Dundee because of the red soils, but the name was changed because there was already a Red Hills AVA in existence by the time they applied to the TTB. The Dundee Hills AVA is a mere 40 miles from the ocean and runs north-south, covering 12,500 acres. The region is protected on all sides, with the Willamette River to the south, the Shehalem Mountains AVA to the north, and the Coast Range and McMinnville AVA to the west and south. Some of the first grapes of the Willamette Valley were planted in the Dundee Hills AVA and the region continues to be the most densely planted locale in the valley and state with iconic producers like Irie, Domaine Druon, Stoller, White Rose and Cameron. Sadly, it was in the Dundee Hills AVA where the Vinelouse phylloxera first appeared in nursery plantings at Sokol Blosser Estate in the early 1990s. The louse has slowly been spreading through the region ever since, affecting own rooted vines, and many vineyards have already been replanted. Since its discovery in the region, vineyards have been planted on phylloxera-resistant rootstocks.